Hello Java candidates. In this video, I will explain the life cycle of an object in Java, which is a common entry level question asked in Java interviews. So let's see how objects are born, where they live, their death, etc. Objects are created in Java using the new keyword. The Java virtual machine then allocates memory for that object on the heap and assigns it a reference so that it can be tracked. Here in the example, animal obj is the reference for the newly created object animal. The new keyword is followed by a call to the constructor. The job of the constructor is to instantiate the object, that is to initialize the member variables of the object. We will talk more on the constructors in our subsequent videos. The object then happily lives on the heap serving its purpose of providing access to its member methods and fields to whoever needs it. Objects on the heap are continually monitored to check if they are referenced. Objects no longer referenced get eligible for garbage collection. Garbage collector is invoked by JVM to claim unused objects that are no longer referenced. The programmers needn't worry about reclaiming the unused space. JVM invokes garbage collector when your application is running out of space to destroy some or all of the unused objects. However, the programmer must ensure that objects are made eligible for garbage collection when they are no longer used say by setting their reference to null. So that's the typical journey of an object in Java. Thanks for watching.